So this is just a basic overview. Told y'all, can't, you can't do nothing in the country without having that kind of thing. Welcome back. I'm pretty excited about today's video because we're going to be unboxing the Scorpion ADF 9000 Air and getting our hands on it for the first time. Let's get into it. Shibu. I never do many unboxing videos because you only got one shot at them and I kind of fumble through stuff so we're going to give it our best shot. It's going to be a one shot video here. But like I said, this is the new Scorpion ADF 9000 Air. This is not available in the United States. This is the, the European version of the XT9000, which is the carbon helmet they offer. But you can't get them, uh, you can't get these in the United States. See, I'm already fumbling already. Um, they're only available over in Europe. I ordered them from FC Moto. I'll drop a link in the description so you can check them out. They're about a $200 difference between the ADF9000 and the XT9000. That's why we chose to get these. And this one's mine, this one's Timmy's, but we'll check them both out because they're a little bit different. I'll get stuff out of the box first. Let's see here. Pin lock ready. Comes with a pin lock already. I don't really know what that is, but uh, we'll find out. And it comes with an extra shield. I'm just going to drop this box right here. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of the project here. <laughs> what we're doing. I want to see this helmet. So you got a nifty little bag, as you can see. I think all Scorpion helmets come with this, with the bag. Now, I've been needing a helmet for about two years since I bought the other one I had, so pretty excited about this. Oh, look at that. Give y'all close up side profile. That thing is beautiful, son. I went with all flat gray because I got gray boots, so I won't be all matching. But let me put the bag aside. I'll put it down here so it won't be in the shot so much. See, fully adjustable. Face shield, it's got good defense in it. It's locked in the top position pretty hard. Now this ain't gonna be a good technical review if you want all the technical information. Uh, just uh, look at that description, uh, the link in that description, and you can find out all that to your heart's desire. It's got two air vents in the top. They're open, which is pretty cool. The um, only thing I noticed right off the bat, the visor is not adjustable. It's toolless, so you can just pop that right off, but um, it's an ADV helmet, so I have no plans of taking that off. Looks like it's at a pretty good angle, so I'm not really worried about that either. And also, one of the difference, differences between the ADF and the XT is this one has a internal drop down sun visor and i don't use that a lot timmy uses his a lot more but it is handy to have so do like that and you get a instruction manual in there you also if you can see that let me take that out of there this is something i know the xt9000 comes with and i was didn't know this one did or not but you actually get a plate where you can pop this thing down and pull that out of there and that plate will mount in there just like that and you can mount your GoPros to it. I think I'm gonna try to mount mine to the side, but we'll see how that ends up. That's not for this video, but got a little pop thing there. That lets that extra air into the vent. And you also got uh, these vents right here. If you can see it, open and close. Now, I hadn't tried this helmet on yet. We'll do that just in a second. But this is also why they call this the ADF Air and the XT9000 Air, is they actually got Scorpion's air system in there. I don't know if you see that little it's like the old uh, 80s, early 90s Reebok pumps. You see it right there? You can actually inflate the cheek pads so it fits tighter to your head. So let's just get right into it and put this thing on my head and see what it feels like. I tried on, before I get into that, sorry again. I tried on the AT960. Loved the inside and how that helmet fit. But I don't like modular helmets. Have no use for them. I like a dirt style helmet. And that's why I chose this one. This one's got a lot better look for me than that one does. And it's a little bit lighter too, so you can add the camera weight to it, but that don't really matter. But let's put it on. I never have touched one of these, if y'all can hear me. I've never touched one, never got to try one on. I went to one dealer to see if they had the XT9000. They did not. Um, it fits great. It's a size medium, fits me wonderful. I'll give you a profile of that. Front shot, side profile. Yeah, fits great. Now I'll try to pump it up. I hope y'all could hear me when I was in there, but you just pump that little thing right there. I'll try to get y'all close up. And the cheek pads just inflate. And then there's a little button. If you can see that on the bottom of the chin curtain, you hear it, hold on. There's a little air release. So as I put it on, felt good. There's no tight spots. It's a little bit tight now. They said it's a size medium. Fits me a little snug, but 
not too bad uh if it's about like the at960 and that's the adx uh 960 or the ad ad 960 or something like that in europe but same helmet uh the interior feels about the same nice and plush i said this helmet is a little bit lighter i don't know exactly it says it's uh 1650 grams i guess that's what that means i really don't know but it's, it's fairly light lighter than my other helmet oh um, yeah i like it it's pretty cool let's open up timmy's oh yeah and you, let's show you this visor i think you get this visor is also pin lock ready from what i understand Sorry about that. See, I told y'all I'd be messing up. You're trying to do one shot videos. Yeah, you just get a smoke uh, pin lock ready smoke visor in the box. It's pretty cool. It ain't as dark as my old helmets was, so I might try to rock that every once in a while because I'm going to see if goggles fit in that helmet too. And we might that might be a thing I'll show y'all. It might not be a one shot video. I might uh, have to run and get my goggles. So we'll see. But like I said, pin lock, extra visor. Timmy's is a colored helmet. I hope you don't mind that we're opening it up for him. He's supposed to be coming and getting it later. Same stuff in the box. It's the same, same helmet except it's a, a colored version. Oh, it's got actually got graphics and stuff on it. Let's see if I can get into this thing. There we go. Just bear with me here. I'm trying to one shot this for you because and trying to speed through it. There, it's Timmy's version. Same helmet. It's colored. I like it pretty good. It looks pretty good, actually. It's like black and silver. Pretty cool looking. Well, let's get this stuff there. We'll give you a shot of that right there. There's two of them. Let me cut the video off for just a second. I'm gonna do a little editing and I'll go get my goggles, see how good they fit in there so you'll know that. All right, I got the goggles. They're just uh, 100%. I think they're Strata or something like that. I can't remember the name of them, but I've had them for a while. Let's see if they fit on there. Helmet back on. Uh -oh. There we go. Sorry about that. Somebody's killing some deer. But yeah, they fit on there. It's like a dirt bike helmet. A little shot. Pretty cool. Yeah. They work no problem. Goggles go in there no problem. So just to recap a little bit, non-adjustable visor. Got an air vent there. Pretty lightweight. It's comfortable. I wear a size medium. I always do. It fits me just like other any other medium does. So good there timmy actually got a small i think they got three different shell sizes so his helmet actually looks a little bit smaller than mine because he's actually got the smaller shell i got the next size up so but you got a, like i said a drop down internal sun visor which works nice and smooth and quiet uh, it's got a little channel back there to actually hold goggle straps because it's actually made for that um their fit system in there now this helmet is from fc moto where i ordered it from 316 for this one uh, like 345 for this one now compare that to the xt 9000 the solid is 499 and any colorway is like 525 so it's a good bit of savings it's not carbon fiber but some people probably like carbon fiber some don't i've never worn one before some people say they're loud i don't know um so this is just a basic overview I told y'all can't you can't do nothing in the country without having that kind of noise but um it's not really reviews it's more or less of a first impressions because that's the first time we actually laid eyes or hands on this for myself and i'm pretty impressed so far i'm sure at some point i'll do a long-term review or talk about how the wind noise and stuff like that and there's probably plenty of reviews but there's none in the united states of these helmets i don't think because like i said they're not available here but that's pretty much it oh yeah one more thing look at this see my boots are gonna match my helmet God, i'll be looking clean out there it's clean i like it i'm happy so that's all there is to this video. As always, appreciate y'all watching. If you hadn't already, hammer the shit out of that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new content comes out. Follow along with us. Help us grow. See y'all in the next one.